Every seed has built within it the end product of its purpose. The tiny sequoia seed that can rest on the tip of your finger contains within it a massive 300 foot tall redwood tree weighing tons. By contrast, the larger watermelon seed has within it a 15 to 20 pound watermelon. The size of the seed has nothing to do with its potential. And every seed has built into it a unique purpose. You can send an apple seed to Apricot University, but it will never be an apricot. Its destiny is tucked away deep inside. Some seeds must go through more struggle and pain than others to reach their fulfillment. For example, the seeds of dandelions will grow easily just about anywhere. They multiply quickly. But the redwood seed, which creates the largest trees, must go through a much more painful process before it ever reaches its potential. The seeds of a redwood tree are enclosed in a cone that must fall to the ground and wait for a fire to release them. Sometimes the cones may wait 20 years before a fire causes them to be released from the cone and germinate. That fiery trial somehow prepares them for the future because as they mature over a period of hundreds of years, they become virtually fireproof. Fires may sweep through their base, causing other trees to become torches, but the redwood tree remains resistant to the fire. What is your purpose, little seed? What will you grow to be? A pretty rose, a piece of grass, a bush, a vine, a tree? The seed replied, I'd like to know, but I am in a jam. My shell must break and I must die to find out who I am. If I refuse, I'll stay the same, my destiny untold. I'll never know until I yield and let it all unfold. And so the seed fell in the ground and waited patiently until within there did ascend a giant redwood tree. Just like a seed, deep within your human spirit, there's a destiny and a purpose that's unique to you and no one else. Too often people spend their lives trying to be something that they are not, or trying to achieve something that was never a part of their purpose. Like the redwood seed, some people may not blossom in their purpose for many years. Others will only know their purpose after they go through the fire. John Walsh, who is a friend of my son Craig, is a good example. On July the 27th, 1981, John's six-year-old son, Adam Walsh, was abducted and later beheaded. The grief from that fiery ordeal motivated John to pass legislation to aid in the search for missing children and the apprehension of their killers. The television show, America's Most Wanted, hosted by John Walsh, was birthed from that terrible tragedy and over 1,200 criminals have been captured as a result. Like John, I found my purpose after my daughter Rachel became the first victim of the 1999 Columbine High School shootings. In the 20 years that followed her death, we have reached over 28 million young people in assemblies and trainings, preventing eight school shootings and over 1,000 suicides.